So episode 24 of the best Nova Launcher setups is here and live and over on Twitter, we've once again collectively come up with the three new setups that you're about to see featured in today's episode. Some of the best yet, in my opinion. And if you wanna have your say on what setups are featured in future episodes, then make sure you're following me over there. But before we get onto the episode, here's just a quick word from today's video sponsor. So if you're a movie lover, sports fanatic, or you just like winning competitions, then you need to jump over to the Mima app's website and put your knowledge to the test by entering their super movies or sports quiz competitions. They've got two apps available on both Android and iOS, both filled to the brim with super challenging trivia questions. And what's great is that simply by participating in what is called the hardcore category, you have the potential to go into the running to win a whole series of prizes. What's even cooler is that 10% of any in-app purchases you make within the apps themselves will go towards the Save the Children charity, which is phenomenal. The full instructions on how to officially enter the competition and have your name up on the leaderboard are available using the first link down in the description below, as are the links to each of the trivia applications themselves. So make sure you enter the competition to go into the running to win a series of prizes today. All right, on to the episode. So starting the episode off, we have this ultra minimalistic one page setup sent in by Holden. And as you can see, this is a really visually pleasing setup and it caught my eye as soon as I saw it in my inbox. As always, making a start with that wallpaper, this is actually being taken from the wardrobe wallpaper application and you'll find it by searching for palm tree, but I know that wallpapers come and go from these apps all the time. So I have left a direct link down below just in case. But I love the soft, relaxing color palette and vibe that this wallpaper gives off. Certainly my style and the rest of the setup has been customized to match perfectly. Up the top, we have a row of six application icons. These are all taken from the pure icon pack, which looks super neat here in my opinion. Even though it is quite minimal, we do have two folder icons here, one for gaming and entertainment and the other for online shopping. But you could obviously customize these and set them up in a way that works for you. Below that we have a day and date widget taken from the Cheesecake for KWGT widget pack. It's a widget that goes by the name of Agent if you're looking for it. And the colors of both the rectangle and circle icons have been slightly adjusted, which results in what you can see here. That line has also been added in after the fact, which you can do so by simply creating a rectangle and changing it from fill to stroke and moving it into place. I've also got this entire widget set up to launch into the calendar widget upon tapping it, but you could obviously customize this to your liking. Aside from that, there are a few funky gestures to get the hang of when using this home screen setup. So for example, swiping up activates the Google Assistant, double tapping launches Google Chrome, plus there are a heap of other fairly complicated gestures to launch into other apps as well. But then to jump into the app drawer, it is a two finger swipe down gesture, which is a bit tricky to get the hang of, but I'm sure after a week or so it will become second nature. So then moving into the app drawer itself, here we've got a very clean setup, no icon labels or background, but we do have the Delta icon pack in use, which looks great and suits the chilled vibe of the setup nicely. But aside from that, that's it for this setup. Great use of colors and icons, a keeper for sure. Moving on to setup number two, this one was submitted via Twitter by Siva. It's another clean one page setup. It was a favorite in the polls as well. So let's take a look at what makes this simple home screen setup work. So again, starting with the backdrop, this one actually comes straight from the Simpax icon pack, which as you can probably tell is also where our icons are getting their look from. And anytime you're able to find a good wallpaper from the icon pack you're using, it's always worth giving it a go in your setup because generally speaking, it will match the icons to a T, which is exactly the result we've got here. Now moving to those icons, and again, they're all from the Simpax icon pack and they've been set up in a four x four configuration with an icon size of 70%, which means we fit lots on the page without it feeling too bulky or cluttered. I do quite like the look of this. And again, the colors and shapes just tie in so nicely with the overall look and color palette of the rest of the setup. Up above those icons, and here is a time and day widget from the watermelon for KWGT widget pack. Nice and simple, that yellow accent color fits in perfectly. And I've got this one set up to launch into the the clock application upon tapping it. Moving right up to the top, and here we have a really nice Google search bar widget taken from the Pixelicious for KWGT widget pack. I really do enjoy the design of this search bar. Again, I think it suits this setup perfectly and adds in a nice level of functionality as well. Swiping into the app drawer, and here we've got a minimal and fairly stock looking layout. We've got a muted bluey gray background and blue accent colors throughout to match the home screen. And icons are again from the Simpax icon pack. Aside from that, that's it for this setup. Beautifully designed and incredibly eye-catching as well. 
And finally for today, we've got a dark AMOLED friendly home screen setup sent in by Urge. This one looks just as nice as the first two, but will also help out greatly with battery life if you've got a device with an OLED display. So let's dive in and take a look at the ins and outs of pulling off a setup that looks like this. Now, starting with that backdrop, which has been sent through directly, this is a beautifully designed satin and space inspired wallpaper that gives us just a nice splash of color in the middle, whilst also being predominantly black around the edges. And this is what makes this setup so battery friendly. Up the top left, we have a time, date, day, and battery percentage widget. This is taken from the minimal UI widget pack for Zuper Widget Pro. It works quite nicely within this home screen setup, gives us a good level of information as well. And I've got this one set up to launch into the calendar application upon tapping it. Below the satin vector in the middle there, we have a music player widget taken from the Ornit for KWGT widget pack. Perhaps one of the cleanest music widgets I've come across in a while. It looks really nice. And again, suits the rest of the setup nicely. And then below that, we have a dock of five icons, four app icons on the two sides and a folder icon in the middle. Each of the four app icons have been set up manually using some of the folder icons within the quantum dots icon pack. And I think they match the space theme pretty well. And again, in the middle is a custom made folder icon. And I've gone ahead and filled this folder with some of the other apps I use on the daily. It's a really nicely implemented dock given how well it matches the rest of the setup. Swiping to the right, and here we have a second, pretty much fully black OLED friendly page. And this has been achieved using a custom made black shape KWGT widget that's been stretched right across the background. And I really like this implementation. It feels like a completely independent page in and of itself, which is great. And then of course, sitting on top is the month calendar widget. From there, swiping up and into our drawer presents us with yet again, a battery friendly app drawer design, full on black background with white accents. App icons are still from the quantum dots icon pack, quite large though, which is an interesting look, but then up the top of this drawer, and here we have five folder icons filled to the brim with a range of different apps, which will keep those of you who like to keep things organized into folders very happy. Aside from that, that's this setup complete, super killer design with lots of cool widgets throughout, definitely worth a go, particularly if you're looking for a battery friendly design. But that's it. Now, as well as having a say regarding the different setups featured in this series, I've also got a pretty interesting poll running at the moment regarding the future of this series itself. So make sure you jump over onto Twitter to get involved and have a say and influence the future of this series. Aside from that, as always, links to everything featured throughout the video have been included down in the notes below. If you wanna see past episodes, that playlist has been linked here. And if you keep coming back to these videos and you haven't yet subscribed, then make sure you do that. And while you're at it, hit that little notification bell so you stay notified for whenever I release a new video. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.